Hi guys, uh, good morning everyone and I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to one more video, daily video of uh, top 5 calls to trade. Now you can see yesterday was a very boring market. A uh, little bit of news came out about Nancy Powell going to Taiwan so that uh, uh, caused a lot of volatility in the market but nothing great you know market just uh, wherever it came down in the morning from it uh, went up. One day I'll try to do a video on how to trade on uh, sessions. And uh, then you can understand how to uh, use volatility uh, as a good trading uh, indicator. Yeah, so you. So having said that, let's start uh, today with uh, BTC analysis. We'll keep this same like we uh, do every day. Okay. So yeah. So we'll start with the uh, 15 minutes time frame for for BTC. As you can see that nothing much has changed from yesterday. I did not get any good long setups yesterday because uh, uh, it, it uh, nothing looked like uh, looked like you know taking uh, a trade on. So today you can see that we are almost in the same scenario again. So I'll quickly go over it. So you can see the point of control is still over here at two three nine two zero, and if you can see uh, if you just take this wave, then you can see the fifth level of point five is where Bitcoin is getting support at. And the point uh, 382 and 236 is down here. Okay, if you remember yesterday, I told you that this is the first point where it will try to look for support. So you can see that Bitcoin is trying to find support over here. Currently, it is it got rejected from this parallel channel, and now it is trying to test this one. Okay, so how I look to trade is is something. Let me just uh, zoom it for you, so I can make you understand this whole thing better. Yeah, so. The best way to trade this one will be to just wait for this pattern to develop. Okay, maybe I think it will come down. Put in a more, uh, a one more lower low, go up, test this, and then you know take from here. Okay, now it needs to break this parallel channel for it to go out of uh, this pattern. You can see that this is a bull flag pattern which is forming. Normally, ascending channels like this they break out to the top. So if this happens, we can take a trade from here. Okay, now. What are the target points for the trade? We'll keep, we'll take it layer by layer and we'll keep it very simple till we get new data points. We don't want to rush into anything. So you can see the golden pocket is somewhere over here and the point of control is here. Okay. So I'll aim for this point of control because that normally aligns with my golden pocket. So my A will be here. My B will be on this point of control area. And then I will look for one more C to the bottom of the channel. Okay. So this will be my trade plan for BTC uh, for maybe for this week and uh, going to the next week. But today I'll primarily look for long setups like I told in my telegram group about this because this is the, this makes the most sense. Okay. Now if you, if you don't see any reaction from here because if, if this happens then you know this will become a swing failure for you. Okay. So you can trade it from a swing failure perspective. So just mark it. And if you don't see any reaction from here, then you know, anyway, you have the bottom of the parallel channel over here. Yeah. You can try to take a trade from bottom of the parallel channel. Yeah. And then we'll see how the markets behave once it reaches here. As you can see, the RSI is also resetting almost. So I look for some divergences on uh, RSI. Uh, maybe it'll just go up and something like this. Okay. Let's see how this plans out. But uh, these are the two scenarios I'm looking for BTC. Okay. Now moving on uh, to the uh, next coin, which is uh, XRP. So you can, if you remember that uh, we were talking about XRP yesterday, if you have not seen the video for yesterday, you can go and watch it. So XRP is still in the same scenario. Now you can see that it is almost matching with what we want uh, BTC to do over here. Okay. So we'll be. Uh, putting our eyes on XRP and hoping that it finds some support on this parallel channel. Like you can see, this is the 0.618, and there is a lot of support in this region over here. Okay, so just mark a line over here, and uh, yeah, once it touches this line, then try to uh, enter some trades or try to see uh, what kind of reaction we are getting from the market. But if we if we get a bullish reaction over here or a swing failure on the test, you enter. And then you can target higher levels. Okay. Now for profit taking, the targets will be same. That uh, we'll target the uh, golden pocket over here, which is coming somewhere in this region. Yeah. So you can just uh, extend this little bit. Yeah. XRP. And then 
uh, another leg uh, down yeah so that will complete my abc on xrp okay this is the first scenario which can happen if you want to see the point of control for this wave only is uh, coming somewhere here yeah so now uh, it, it is finding some resistance at the point of control so if it breaks and claims this this point specially then this will be a sure shot sure trade to upside okay so two scenarios can happen over here either xrp can test this golden pocket and come down or you know it can go up put in a higher high test the top of the parallel channel then you get a, a bearish divergence over here and a swing failure entry like we discussed for your short coming back to the bottom of the channel okay so i think uh, this is enough for xrp please trade it uh, this way uh, looking at eth you can see yesterday because of the manipulation market moved up but that gave a good abc completion pattern for ethereum you can see it got rejected from the 0.382 level over here and now it is coming down but i see eth uh, not coming down too much because uh, merger news is coming and there are a lot of uh, fomo in the market which is going on so i'll just be aligning my eth trade to btc and i'll be hoping to uh, take a long on it okay because ethereum is normally a good long but still i will hope that it comes at least to this level like yesterday and test this level okay maybe a lower low or maybe just a test okay if it's a lower low i will wait for it to claim the low back and then look for longs and if it is just testing and move over here i'll just enter a small margin and try to uh, add on my uh, way up okay so because eth has corrected i think eth will be forming a higher high pattern not an abc pattern so you can target this golden pocket but i still think because of the merger news and the fomo news i think eth is going to test the top of parallel channel before coming down again yeah so this will be a very good long trade for eth uh, just uh, keep an eye on this okay moving on to the next coin for today you can see phantom over here if you remember uh, i posted in my twitter and in my telegram channel and we mm, shorted phantom somewhere around this region and uh, we have taken our profits on it i just uh, told my guys to take all the profits this was a very good trade of uh, 10% so we have exited our position and now primarily will be looking for long so you can see phantom is finding support from this uh, center of this parallel channel if you if you want to extend the parallel channel a little bit you can see the <coughs> middle parallel channel is providing very good support all through the way so i'll i'll be hoping that uh, phantom comes back and tests this parallel channel again probably put in a lower low reclaims it back and try to test the top of the channel okay now because phantom is an old coin so either it can go to put in a higher high there is very high possibility for this so once this high is taken i'll try to enter a short on phantom okay so this is my plan for phantom going forward but uh, for uh, shorter time frames uh, you know what i see is uh, i see this kind of a parallel channel which is forming and i would like to trade only on this for the shorter time frame so i think phantom will only go till here put in a higher high and then come down to test the bottom of the channel we'll see uh, as it goes because you can see a lot of people will be taking profits as and when markets uh, start to put in a little bit more highs okay uh, coming back to one more coin ada for today you can see ada has beautifully rejected from top of this parallel channel and now it is coming to test the bottom of the channel so this will be a very good long entry for ada so if ada manages to give in a lower low or comes over here then you can enter a, a long trade on ada okay now if you if you want to be if you do not want to miss a trade what i'll suggest is that now this is the wave up okay you can see that the wave up has gone so you can take this if, if you take this full wave and just draw a fib then you see this is the golden pocket which is forming here so when it retraces back this will be the first point of interest okay you can see that if traders are stepping in over here if not then it will go to test this support level again because you can see it has bounced one two three times from here if you if you see a bounce from here then you enter the trade if no lower low will be the best uh, trade setup uh, for uh, you guys okay now ada has <coughs> been looking uh, very bullish but uh, you can see that this big abc pattern over here on ada which is formed has not corrected full because i still think that this abc needs to correct and then only it can go down so i still think that ada will form an abc 
So I just uh, target the golden pocket for ADA. If I enter somewhere over here, then my golden pocket is coming somewhere here. Yeah. And then I will look for a rejection coming back to this level. Yeah. Because you see that this is my 1.68 level. So this will complete the ABC pattern over here. And then uh, ADA can uh, proceed up. Yeah. So the point of control for ADA is also similar over here. So, you know, either the golden pocket or the point of control. Yeah. So it can reject from two points. One is this middle of parallel channel or it can go to the golden pocket. Yeah. So you can take your profits over here and try to look for some shorts around this region. Everything, of course, uh, depends on uh, what uh, uh, BTC does. Okay. So the last coin we'll look at is uh, sold today because of the news. Uh, if you remember that a lot of uh, phantom wallets are being drained out. So because of this, uh, soul is uh, coming down. But uh, you can see that uh, we, we shorted uh, Seoul in our Telegram channel from uh, 46 point uh, something. I shared the profit cards yesterday and we got out of the trades uh, today morning. Uh, you can see this was a 17% profit. Yeah. Now you can see ADA is currently, uh, sorry, Seoul is currently rejecting from the middle of this parallel channel. You can see it lines up beautifully. Now because of the news, I hope that ADA is going to come back, test this bottom again. And then I'll take a swing failure long from this top, yeah. And then ADA is going to target higher levels over here. Why I'm more, more interested in ADA is because you can see ADA has corrected. Uh, it has finished its first uh, level of correction. It has exactly come back to the golden pocket, yeah. So one more test of this level is uh, required. That is uh, that that is what markets like to do. They want to test the level again before going up. So if it comes here puts in a lower low, I will enter the trade and I'll uh, for my first target will be the golden pocket of course over here which is somewhere over here or the top of the parallel channel okay it can go till here I don't see it a uh, soul going much more up if markets don't get bullish if they get bullish of course everyone will go up but my primary targets will be this this and this okay so I'll try to exit all my longs over here and I'll try to uh, enter shorts. If you are long and short and you try to hedge and you are not an experienced trader, don't do it because you will get completely confused how to take profits and how to go about it. Okay, so keep your trading simple. If you are in some good profits, take some profits and just get out of the trade. You know? Your goal is to make uh, increase your portfolio over the month. Okay, not to brag about how much percentages you made from the trade. Okay. So keep your psychology simple and keep your goals. Yeah, I will suggest uh, once you enter the trade, put some take profits. Okay, here, 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 line it up. Okay, so you don't have to deal with your mind later that should I take profits now or not. Let the system do it for you. So just automate your take profits. That's the best way to get out of a trade. If you don't automate it and think that you'll manually close it, you're never going to do it because your greed is going to uh, hamper it. Okay. So Friday, I'll come up with a macro analysis for the next week. Okay. So in that, we'll cover the whole scenario a little bit better. But these are the few setups I'm looking today, uh, primarily for longs. If, uh, if market goes otherwise, then I will stay out for, from these longs and I will wait for uh, better opportunities uh, to originate. Okay. But like I said, uh, BTC is currently. Uh, you can see BTC is currently uh, in the 0.5 and in the 0.618 region I'll uh, for sure take it long because that is a very good region. I'm only a little bit concerned about the whole liquidity over here. So if this support breaks and it tests as resistance, then the markets can come down here. If it comes down here, then 100% you have to enter a long because there is nothing which is saying that the markets will go directly to 10k. So uh, first point will be here second point will be here third point will be here okay so these are just three areas if i fail along here i will just uh, keep a tight stop loss i'll try again here if not i will try again here okay there is nothing sure shot in trading guys you have to try from important points like uh, 0.5 uh, 0.618 and 0.786 okay so this is how i see uh, you know, the trades for today thank you for watching guys i hope uh, you Make some good profits today from these setups and uh, have a good day. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.